what I would say, what makes us who we are as a community and as an ensemble is our personalities and our willingness to embrace each other and our differences, that it's like a family. Honestly, it's not just about the talent. Everyone's talented on the choir. You can see that when you, you know, when you see them perform. But it's it's a family atmosphere. You know, we talk all the time about, at John's Law about having that family atmosphere, good culture, good climate in the building. You see it. John's Law Choir is has always been about the people, the members in it. We've always been a tight knit community, and we've always been a family. question that is on the minds of many students as they enter high school is what do I want to do? Amongst the various opportunities presented at Jonathan Law, one specific group of tiny students who are creative and open to everyone have earned recognition for their positivity and successes in recent years, such as the choir. With that being said, what is the Jonathan Law Choir? And what makes them who they are? Jonathan Law Choir is, has always been about the people. The members in it, we've always been a tight knit community and we've always been a family. What I would say, what makes us who we are as a community and as an ensemble is our personalities and our willingness to embrace each other and our differences. Honestly, it's not just about the talent. Everyone's talented on the choir. You can see that when you, you know, when you see them perform. But it's, it's a family atmosphere. You know, we talk all the time about, at John's Law about having that family atmosphere, good culture, good climate of the building. I think what makes choir choir is all the different personalities mm -hmm. and characters we have. Like, I'll use me as an example. Ms. Jones really says I have a different personality and I think, yeah, I agree with that. Honestly, it's like the it's like the whole group together. Like everybody is so like close like closely knit that it's just like a family. So being able to have like that kind of relationship with everyone, kind of what makes Jonathan Law Choir such like a great like choir to join. Um, I think the energy of the group is really unmatched and I think we have a lot of fun while also putting in a lot of work and we do a lot together, so it's like, yeah. We've always strived for welcomeness to new members, and um, especially during rehearsals, we always try to keep the um, high energy, but the uh, main focus is the family portion of it. It wouldn't be what, uh, Lockmire wouldn't be what it is today if it weren't for um, how close everybody was, especially with Jones, and how, how much work she put into making everybody comfortable and um, being in the community. Um, I think one of the things that really kind of solidified that we weren't, I guess you would say like typical choir uh, mm -hmm. is when we went to our showcase last year and we performed. Right. And it, I, one of the things I said to the choir before we walked out was that you're gonna see a lot of professional choirs and they're gonna be very stoic and very like invested in what they're doing and that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. um, but something that delineates us from others is that we have personality and that we really engage and connect with one another and that I wanted that to shine through in their performance and not feel that they had to fit into a, a norm. You see it anytime you hang out with students who are in the choir, whether it's a small group of students, whether it's the whole group, it's just, you, you all just seem to love being around each other. Even when you have your differences, it's still a family atmosphere. I think yeah. that's the best thing that sets you all apart. And it's something even my um, alumni, when they go yeah. and they continue to perform at the collegiate level, mm -hmm. um, they say they don't really get that same vibe in their performances. Okay. Um, and so that's something that I really pride well, I take pride in, and I'm really proud of everyone in the ensemble like that family. they, yeah, that it's like a family. And mm -hmm. I think that that helps us actually perform better. Jonathan Law Choir is more than just a collection of voices. It's proof of the dedication of those who guide the musical journey of their students. Luckily enough, we were able to sit down with Miss Jones, the genius orchestrating the beauty you just witnessed. Beyond the harmonies, 
Every director has a special tune in their heart. That said, what inspired you to teach music and specifically conduct choir? So I was an instrumentalist growing up um, mm -hmm. and I actually was trying to quit all the time in middle school or in junior high for me um, that I really tried to get out of it and the band director heard that I played and wanted me to join band and I reluctantly went to one rehearsal mm -hmm. and I picked up my flute, which is what I played back then. Okay. We played something, he cut us off, he gave some kind of feedback. I didn't hear anything that he said, I just kind of looked around at the room of 200 people and said this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And I realized in that instance, like I had a love and a drive for teaching and music and I could tell that his students had passion in what they were doing simply because of his delivery and his instruction. So for the rest of my life I've kind of tried to make sure that I'm trying to instill that same passion on students, not so that they all continue on music, but simply that they feel that same feeling that I felt yeah. um, at some point. And so I kind of had this like love of performing and conducting choir because there was something different about that connection when you're conducting a choir as opposed to an ensemble because there's nothing in the way right. of the music that's being made. So when I conduct, what's happening is students are using their voice to produce beautiful music. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, in, in an ensemble, you have an instrument that is kind of in the way, even though it's still a beautiful thing and the process is amazing, and I still true. love playing. There's just something a little bit more intimate about that connection between it being a part of you, your instrument being a part of you, right. as opposed to using an, uh, an instrument okay. to produce sound. From the orchestration of Miss Jones serving as a mentor and guide, the students are encouraged by her compassion and determination to the music department. Her commitment to helping students reach their full potential motivates them to contribute more towards the choir success. Sitting down and talking to Jasper Chu, the AVU board manager, he talked about his insights answering. What inspired you to lead or join the Jonathan Law Choir and be the board manager? Specifically Law Choir, I've seen them during performances, during the 8th grade activity fairs, and they were really good. Um, I don't know, uh, they kind of left me speechless at some of their performances. And I wanted to be manager because they've helped me out so much with my own personal life. I wanted to give back in any way I could. So being the manager of this choir is the best way I could give back, you know, help out whoever I need to, whoever needs my help, and I can just give back to the community in whatever way I can. Students prior to joining the Jonathan Law Choir are inspired by the harmonic voices which draw them to the sense of community and belonging that the choir brings. Together, their voices have a collective expression which goes beyond their personal boundaries. As you sit down and talk to the choir members about their experience, what inspired them to join the Jonathan Law Choir? So I joined my sophomore year because freshman year I didn't like know anybody that was doing it and then I ended up meeting um, a few people through like other things in school and they were always super interested and talkative about it that I decided to join the next year. Um, well mostly my sister because she was part of the Jonathan Law Choir before I even was in high school. I was a little hesitant at first and then Ms. Jones and my sister and her friends were asking like hey when are you going to join choir? So that's what uh, had me uh, join choir. I had friends in one of my classes classes in freshman year and they were telling me about choir and at first I was like uh, it's not really for me but then when I met the teacher I was really interested to join and that's how it started. Choir has been an open space for me to express myself, express my personality and yeah. The choir provides the opportunity for students to showcase their talents. Moreover, it allows them to form close connections with other students. It may shape them towards growth and self-discovery, where expressing themselves is not only encouraged, but actively demonstrated, making the choir room a safe space. Apart from choir itself, we ask the students, how has choir impacted you as a person? Choir has impacted me in feeling more confident in myself, because I kind of know that like I'm with this big group and even though I, I can sing, if I sing my part correctly or sing it wrong, I have other people to help and support me and back me up. It, uh, being in the realm of going into music education and in music in general, it allowed me to see how um, choirs work and it gave me more, the more confidence to perform and to be in a community of people that um, values me. In general, it's really just changed my life for the better. All the love and support this community has shown me made me a better person. I have better values because of this choir and the confidence it's given me to inspire others to, you know, do better. Um, I think choir has helped a lot with building up my confidence in like myself and my skills as well as like my leadership. I feel like choir has impacted me a lot and I feel like it was mostly the teacher 
because if you have a good teacher, it'll just set your mind straight and it'll make you love the class even more. And choir makes me feel motivated in myself to express things and emotions and I overall I just appreciate the teacher, Miss Jones. As the Jonathan Law Choir continues to fascinate audiences with its breathtaking performances, we dove deeper into the personal experiences that make this choir who they are and asked Miss Jones, what was a special memory you had with the Jonathan Law Choir? One special memory? I cannot. And how did it impact you? Memory. Oh my goodness, putting me on the spot. Obviously last year was a really impactful year. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, oh I feel a little emotional. Um, I feel like the impact of last year, the culmination of all the things that happened last year, the fact that our ensemble was chosen from a blind audition to perform at such a high level of performance, um, the fact that we went to competition and did so well, um, the fact that we grew in numbers for this year even though we had our largest graduating class, the fact that our graduating class last year was were the people who came into school normal and left um, their freshman year because of COVID and we didn't finish out that year and then when we returned we basically had a year and a half not normal. Um, the fact that we got to the level that we did last year, kind of a culmination of every little step that we took from the moment I started here at Jonathan Law mm -hmm. with, you know, the Amaros and with um, Ann Reed and all of those people back then, uh, mm -hmm. Chloe Erickson, it was Jillian Tan, Beatrice Relucio, it was, it was like the, they were the starting blocks and they worked mm -hmm. so hard and everyone after them, the Kritikas and the Maddie Balderis, all of them worked justly worth. They all worked so hard mm -hmm. to help build this program, even though they knew that they were gonna leave it. So yeah. their hard work at some point was gonna be behind them. It's almost like last year and all the amazing things that happened to kind of highlight how impressive our program is, was this beautiful moment that brought to life all the work, not just of the students present, but the students past as well. And so for me, I think that that really is a defining moment for me, that it's worth it um, yeah. and that we are being recognized. Um, for that and and to the point that it's continuing to grow and bigger things are happening even this year where we have a music booster club now and it's and we're going out of state for four days together on a plane you know yeah. like it's just very exciting the things that we are able mm -hmm. to do now and it's because of every student that's been involved past and present and then we look forward to the future. Mm -hmm.